Chabot Community College primarily serves education for the East Bay. The school has over 175 majors for one to pursue. Chabot College has been giving students an equal opportunity for education since September 1961 to now 2012. Notable alumni of Chabot College are Cliff Burton of the band Metallica, Tom Hanks who studied theater, Carl Potts who received an associate's degree in commercial art, became a comic book writer for the best known series Alien Legion for Marvel Comics. My name is Christian Marin, and my major is in acting. My name is Michael Booker. I work here at Chabot College since I do retention counseling. My name is Jaime Joel. I'm a student, and I work in the TV studio. I'm Barbara Transu. I teach English 1A, but I mostly uh, teach the more advanced classes. Uh, my name is Nick Choi. I'm a student at Chabot at Las Pacinas College. The classes are getting bigger and also some classes aren't offered as much as they used to be. So you'll have to wait maybe a year, maybe even longer just to take a class to fulfill the requirements you need to graduate or transfer. Basically a lot of students feeling the pinch, uh, lines are longer, uh, classes are harder to get into. Uh, some of the students I work with directly you know, complaining about the, the hours that they have for classes, less choices. It's really bad the last two or three years. <clears throat> so what I've been doing is um, letting extra people in. Um, one class, you're only supposed to take 27. I took 55 in the spring, which I'll never do again because it, I teach writing. It's a huge amount of papers for me to grade. I've been here 20 plus years, no, in terms of the sky is falling, this is probably the worst it's ever been. We went through two or three recessions. This is definitely the worst. Um, and I think it is because it's a worldwide recession about um, not just financial markets, about oil and food and everything's coming up. Well, art is like the main thing that people usually look forward to. Growing up, art involves a lot, art involved in a lot of these people's lives. The arts, the music, all those classes uh, are definitely necessary. My sons play music specifically. They're in the jazz band here and, and the combo band here. When you do math, it's a cut situation of two plus two equals four. You know, simple as that. Now, if you're dealing with some of the artsy things, such as art classes, music classes, those type of creative classes, it brings out the creativeness inside. Unfortunately, when you just have this cookie cutter, box cutter type of uh, education, whereas this is all you're learning. And that's the same thing was happening in the high schools too, where they're taking away a lot of the, the creative things. And I think everyone needs an outlet to express themselves and not everybody's gonna be into uh, engineering. Not everybody's gonna be into math. And so that's why I'm saying what makes the world go around is that the, the creative aspect of it. That'd be horrible. Like I have no words to, to say, it'd be horrible. For some students, it wouldn't be a big deal. For me, it'd be a very big deal. And for other art students, it'd be a very big deal because that's their major. That's what they want to make a living in. This is how I plan to make a living. So if it's cut, what am I supposed to do? Math and science is, is, isn't important, you know, because it helps the economy. It helps us further ourselves in health. But then also, I think the art should be invested in because it helps creativity and, you know, I don't think it's a bad thing that math and science are put ahead, first priority. Like I said, it helps our society. It helps um, doctors become doctors and, and helps the economy, people with numbers and, you know, engineers and stuff like that. But I think it just has to be a balance. The arts are needed too. I don't feel like that's a good idea because my background, I was a graphic designer and I think art is very important and music's very important. I know in the elementary schools my nephew is paying extra for art and music, but I think it's a really important part of a person's life, whether they're elementary school or college or high school. So I think that's the last thing that would be cut. I'd rather see it 
increase in sales tax across the board, not just for four years, to pay for music and art in the schools. Oh, that, that's devastating, dude. I'm, I'm an art major, so it impacts me directly. Um, very confusing, 30 and 32. I've probably read about six articles. Um, everyone's confused, not just me, according to these articles. Wait, what the hell is the Prop 30? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is it? And what I believe is 30 looks like it's a better proposition because the money goes directly to schools. Um, I believe in sales tax as a way to get taxes because the people that have money are spending it in the way of a sales tax instead of going to property, tax, property taxes or some other avenue. If Proposition 30 does not pass, then it will affect like the classes that I will be needing to take to achieve my degree in acting. I will have to look for other cl uh, classes in other schools, transfer out, maybe find a class in like a UC or Cal State. I don't know, I just might have to probably move out of state, see if I could find any classes out there. Uh, I, I don't know what I would do. Um, live at home in the basement of my mom's house, playing video games and Yu-Gi-Oh, watching Pokemon episodes, eating Cheez-Its for meals every day. Yeah, breaking up with my girlfriend and uh, yeah, having no direction in life. It's definitely going to affect students here on the campus. Classes are going to be closed down. There's not going to be uh, possibly summer school. Also, with the new schedule that's out for the spring semester, uh, when you go look at that online, you'll see certain uh, classes are like kind of highlighted in certain colors, which basically says that uh, if the budget passes, these classes will be available. The budget doesn't pass, it might be canceled. There's going to be a lot of budget cuts. If it's not passed, a lot of programs will be cut. Nothing. Tell you the truth, nothing. Uh, nothing should be cut because it's already been cut a few times. Things have been cut back. You can't have a bake sale, car wash, you know, what kind of fundraising can you do to make up? Because that's millions of dollars. Well, basically what they're going to have to do is be informed. They're going to have to go out and read uh, the ballot measures. Unfortunately, a person who's not well informed will probably go with whoever shows the most ads on TV and then they'll vote uh, that way. Go out and vote. Uh, understand the concept of uh, without that vote, without that money, uh, we're going to be in a very, very bad situation. It's going gonna, it's gonna to affect everyone in the long run. What's being cut will be gone and it'll never come back again. So I'm saying this is the opportunity to make a statement. I would say vote for education. Um, what I would recommend is just familiarize yourself with with what's on the ballots, do your homework, and, and go out there and vote, you know, because if you don't vote, then it's less likely that, that nothing will happen. It doesn't matter who you pick, we're screwed. That's all I have to say to the California voters. Increases personal income tax on annual earnings over $250,000 for seven years. Increases sales tax and use tax by a quarter cent for four years. Allocates temporary tax revenues 89% to K-12 schools and 11% to community colleges. Provides local school governing boards discretion to decide how funds are to be spent. Guarantees funding for public safety services realigned from state to local governments. Without Prop 30, our schools and colleges face an additional $6 billion in cuts this year. Prop 30 is the only initiative that prevents those cuts and provides billions in new funding for our schools starting this year. Prop 30 is the only measure that establishes a guarantee for public safety funding in our state's constitution, for it can't be touched without voter approval. Prop 30 keeps cops on the street. Prop 30's taxes are the temporary and this initiative cannot be modified without a vote of the people. There is no guarantee in the way it is written that the money will be used for schools. 
Nothing in Prop 30 reforms our education system to cut waste, eliminate bureaucracy, or cut out administrative overhead. The income tax will be retroactive to the first of the year. California is already a very high tax state. We already have the second highest state income tax rate as well as the highest state sales tax rate. Prop 30 may cause the wealthy to move out of state for lower taxes, leaving the middle and lower classes as the main source for funding from taxes. There are several more propositions on the ballot and many more arguments for and against each one. It is your responsibility as a voter to make an educated vote for what you believe is the right choice. For more information on Proposition 30, consult your voter information pamphlet which you received in the mail. There are many resources online such as acgov.org rov.